All right, welcome back. They're small in size, but they can cause big problems. Southern pine beetles. Here's Winston Reed and Dr. John Long. All right, so today we're talking about southern pine beetles, how they are harmful to both nature and the economy. I'm Winston Reed. This is Dr. John Long, and this is Next to Nature. All right, Dr. Long, we see a lot of fallen trees here. Talk about how the southern pine beetles have affected this area. The southern pine beetle, as the name implies, um, is uh, in the south and it, it damages the pine trees. So what happens is, is uh, the way pine beetles get established into a stand of pine is that a beetle comes into an area, they release what's known as a pheromone, which is an odor. And what it does is it attracts other beetles to come into the area and saying basically we have a, a, a source of uh, an area to attack, so to speak, whether it be by feeding or by laying larvae into the, or eggs into the tree. And by damaging these trees, how does that impact nature in itself and other wildlife? Well, obviously it causes a, a decrease in the amount of trees in the area, which wildlife or other things could, could uh, use. Um, the main thing I think though is the economic impact it has on uh, the landowner or tracts of timber. I mean, they can come into an area and basically decimate uh, good healthy trees. A lot of it has to do with this, how much stress is on a tree, whether it be mechanical uh, or from drought or any type of stress on a tree can cause pine, southern pine beetles to come into the area. From an economic standpoint, what do landowners and and companies within the, the lumber industry, what do they do to either prevent or help mitigate this issue? It's, it's I would say it's hard to prevent. Uh, you can uh, try to slow down the process and one of the ways is you come in and, and harvest the healthy timber before it's lost also. Because a lot of times you'll see and from an aerial view you can, you can tell this is there'll be an epicenter of initial trees dying. And if it's not taken care of, that epicenter continues to increase uh, over a time period. So uh, you really need to, to try to take care of the situation before it gets worse. Thank you for teaching us that, Dr. John Long. This is Next to Nature. We will see you next time.